I want to record a quick video on how to bench test a high cluster on BMWs E38, 39, 53. So in the back of the cluster there is um, three connectors and um, it's black, white and blue. You don't need the blue one. So on the black connector you're gonna need four pins. Pin 1 is going to be ground and pin 7, 14 and 17 is going to be power. And on the white connector you're going to need six pins. Pin 1 is, is going to be for the K-line and you only need it if you want to connect it to the computer. If not you don't need it. So P, pin 1 is the K-line Pin, pins 9 and 10 are for the ground and uh, pins 12, 15 and 16 are for the power. So I just connected them together and uh, made uh, those little um, alligator clips at the end. So this is for the ground, black, red is for power and blue is for the K-line. So it's easy for me to tell. Then then this is it. Um, if you want to test for the power, you connect 12 volts ground and power. So I can show you how to do that. And you can see the cluster is off. So I'll just connect the power now and it's going to come on the temperature is going to be not accurate just because it's not connected to the sensor but everything else will work so what you can do you can still test it so you long press the right button and now on the left you choose number two So number two, and you click again. Oops. Pin number two, and now I'll click the left pin. So it's going to do a self test. And you can tell if the lights are working. I think on the right side here it's kind of dark but I think it's just the angle the cluster is fine and now to connect it to the computer I'm just using an adapter um, the one I'm using is a 16 pin to 20 pin which is uh, for uh, vehicles with a Pac-Man adapter with a Pac-Man connector that's 20 pins so here again um, the pins that are going from this connector uh, pins 4 and 5 are the ground pins 7 and 8 are the K-line and pin 16 is the power so all you need is five, 5 wires, I connected them together and so uh, you can use the INPA uh, right now I'm just using a BMW scanner so I'll connect them together And now all I have to do is connect the K-line together and then the ground to ground. It's kind of tricky to do with one hand. Connect ground. power
All right, I got them all connected now. So I'll just open the BMW scanner just to show you that I can actually read the cluster as well. Okay, something is not connected. Okay, I see. This connector came off. I'll have to pause the video again. All right, I connected them back all together as they, sh as sh they should be connected. I'll open BMW scanner again. And now it should work. Can connect with EWS, that's fine. And here's the information, mileage, uh, VIN, options, ZCS code, odometer, um, so everything is there, uh, wrong module, and now you can see the errors, and it's normal, it's going to have errors because it's disconnected from the car. And I think if you do the indicators test, if you click here, I think it's going to do the same thing as function number two. So I'll just move over the camera and press that button. Yeah, and that's, and that's exactly what it does. So you can do these tests, but without reading the VIN, you, you need the computer to read the VIN and stuff like that. But you can do the basic test just with... Uh, with a 12 volt power without the computer.